people are here today to talk about it, the wrongdoing to Mon. This group of protesters is standing in solidarity with UBC nursing student Mona Wong. And they're asking for police accountability, saying that wellness checks shouldn't harm people, but they should help them. A warning, this video may be disturbing to some viewers. The next one could be you and me. This video from January shows Kelowna RCMP officers responding to a wellness check. In the video, you can see UBCO nursing student Mona Wang with her hands cuffed behind her back being dragged down the hallway of her apartment building. Once in the lobby, Wang cuffed face down lifts her head. One of the officers then places her foot on the back of Wang's head, pushing it back to the ground. Many saying it's unfortunate that it has come to this. When we see the photo and video, we are shocked. And uh, in any case, you can't put your foot on the, on the lay down on the ground, they're already cuffed. So there's no reason. I don't believe the Canadian law or ICMP regulations allow that. Now, being a police officer in Calgary for 21 years, I can tell you I have never done that. I never heard of any police officer doing that. When we do a training, specifically, we, we've been told, don't ever do stuff like that. And RCMP brutality. And RCMP Wang says she suffered emotional and physical abuse at the hands of the officer, filing a lawsuit where she alleges the Mountie caused injuries to her face, thigh, and eyes, alleging the Mountie punched her in the face and told her to stop being dramatic, while the allegations are yet to be proven. Uh, we could not believe it's uh, RCMP do like uh, treat people like a criminal, like an animal. This video is just one of several that have surfaced recently calling into question if police services are equipped to handle mental health calls. Many saying resources need to be allocated to professionals who are equipped to respond to these delicate situations properly. I live in Canada for 37 years, never seen like that for general citizen, uh, policeman do that kind of thing. In response to the video that surfaced last week, BC RCMP apologized and they suggested that changes may be coming to their protocol, including having mental health nurses along with RCMP or police services when they do answer those wellness checks. Now, when that will come into play, as well as if other services across the country will also follow suit, is yet to be seen. In Calgary, Ali Miller, City News.